go. Well, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Rod. We are up here at night in the at Central Coast, British Columbia. Uh, we're staying at Coastal Springs Lodge for a few nights and uh, I can't wait. This is the first time we, uh, we're we up here and we're going to be doing some Chinook fishing and hopefully some halibut and lingcod fishing as well. This is probably the fastest traveling time we've done uh, to a fishing spot and it took us about just over an hour uh, on a seaplane and uh, felt very refreshing for once. Uh, not very tired to get to a fishing spot. Uh, once we got here, we actually got treated with a nice crab uh, snack and uh, had a few drinks and now we're gonna go do some fishing. Gorgeous. It doesn't quite look done, so be ready. Yeah. Roll it towards that snake. There we go. Nice. Oh my, oh my God. gosh. Yo, yeah. hell of a job. Whoa. Damn fine. Well, welcome to Night England. Uh, we've been we've been at it since five o'clock in the morning at sunrise, and it's about. Nine o'clock now, we almost ready going for brunch and one rod went off and here we have it. We got a really nice, beautiful oh, Chinook salmon. Okay, yeah, you just go. Jeez, that's a, that's a big fish. There you are. First fish at night inlet. That's probably my biggest landed Chinook too. That's pretty good for a yeah, first timer here. Definitely, yeah, yeah, no, certainly. That thing's awesome. low mid twenties. Yeah, as soon as it took it, it, it ran for a while and that was a big first run. Like it just went, it was going for a while. But he wasn't going anywhere. No, he was well hooked. So now we're gonna head back to the lodge and uh, have some lunch, maybe a little break and head out for the evening tide. Yep, yep, we're gonna go crabbing after this and uh, then head back out fishing. 
Sounds like a rough day. It's pretty bad. It's terrible. <laughs> Twenty-three and a half. Nice. Not bad. Beautiful. Um, so we did a little bit of Chinook fishing this morning out here at Night Inlet and Jill and I now, we're going out with one of the guides and we're going to pick up the crab traps that we dropped this morning. So we had a great morning. Uh, today we were out in the water for a little bit there and we ended up with a pretty decent sized Chinook which we got on the Homeland Security Flasher and the Reese Davis Glow Green Teaser Head. Uh, was that about an average size Chinook? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a little Sorry. above average but uh, it's fairly typical of what we see, about 23 and a half pounds as this one was. Yeah, yeah no, a beautiful red spring and uh, put up a great fight too. It really hit very, very hard. Yeah, it was a very, very fun fish. Yeah. Lots of surface play and going all over the place. It was about 12 minute fight, 13 minute yeah. fight, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I really liked today, is a big surprise, was the whales. We saw so many whales today. I was really hoping that they would come and say hi, but they're a little bit shy and they um, stayed a little bit of a, kept a dis their distance yeah. from us, but um, that was something new for me. And I, I hope that we see some more during this yeah, trip Yeah, no, absolutely. As a result of all that bait, uh, we have a boat roughly 32, 35 resident humpback whales that'll come through over the course of the season. Many of them will stay the entire time, others will come through for two or three weeks here and there and then move along. But uh, the, the humpback whales are absolutely so reliable, they're always here. And they don't affect the fishing, you said, because I thought, for me, if I see whales, I think, oh, great, right? Um, that they might kind of stir up the water or take a lot of the bait fish away from the Chinook. But you said it wasn't really a problem? No, there's sort of two uh, schools of thought on that. Some people, the more old school way of thinking, would say that, you know, they're taking our fish or they're taking our bait. Mm -hmm. uh, same with the orca. A lot of people would say that. But uh, with the humpback whales, in reality, uh, Sure, they eat quite a lot of herring, but they're not impacting the fishing at all. We've gone uh, you know, down the shoreline with the humpback in between us and the shoreline and not interrupted fishing at all. Well, we had a really good day, but I think dinner's almost ready, so I think it's almost time for us to uh, head on in there and have another great meal. The meals here are fantastic. They're so um, good. Meal, then shower, and then bed. Bed really early because we have a 4 a.m. wake up. Thanks, Cam. Bet you do. Day three, it's flat calm, and it's off the fish are biting.
Mr. Mr. Hit. No, Mr. Yeah. Okay, one miss on the uh, Skinny G hearing aid. So we just switched off from date to that and... Waiting what? 10 minutes? About 10 minutes, yeah. yeah. 10, minutes, 10 minutes, we got a hit on that, so good sign. While dropping down the other rod, second hit fish. Oh, oh, it came over as well. Damn it, it came over as well. It's destroyed. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Let him go. Like a screamer as Jill's, but we got something to it though. Did you see how big it was when it came to the surface? No, I just saw the splash. Rod, I don't feel bad. Do I feel bad? No, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm glad you got one. This makes me feel so good. No! He's coming at you, he's coming at you, he's coming at you. Sorry, I'm bad for that. That's yeah, okay, that's what I'm here for. We have something on the line, probably a Chinook. Took a big run right at the beginning. And now it's just kind of holding in the water. And I know that I should be playing it pretty slowly so I don't pull too hard and pull the, the hook out of its mouth. But usually I don't play fish this slowly in the ocean. But I don't really know if I'm doing it right. You're doing it great, yeah. Like, it's always better to play a fish a little light than too heavy. You'll have a way higher success yeah. rate that way, especially with the treble hooks. It's just, it's not really, it's, it is, it's holding there. Yeah. And um, I'm just kind of carefully picking up on the slack line. Yep. And then Sorry. just kind of square up to him a little bit. So you got a nice straight line. There you go. Little boy, little boy. Jeez, these fish are gorgeous. Yeah, very nice. Oh. oh my gosh, these fish are so big. Nice. Beautiful. Dude, that looks like the one I got yesterday. Pretty close. It's a little bit smaller. I feel like it's... Ooh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Got some sticky stuff on the Oh my gosh, they're so nice. Kitty, damn fine job. Good, <laughs> worth the wait. They're so big, like yeah. they're just so long and oh, fat yeah, and the beautiful. colors. I certainly underestimated them. That is my biggest ocean chinook ever. Really? Yeah. Good. For, I would say so, wouldn't you? Good That's close, yeah. Quality Sorry. over quantity. I don't really want to say much because it's heavy and I'm not very strong. So <laughs> get your shots that you need. No, it's uh well, a nice piece of nice piece of fish here. Pretty good piece of business. Yeah. Uh, one for one, one for one, zero for two. <laughs> and a high five. No. Come on. Easy, easy. 
That was actually, I was pretty nervous. Yeah, no, okay. yeah. He went up do and down, up and down, up and down, three or four times. And uh, the light snap. Yeah, it looks like the... Uh, the light snap. <laughs> circle, that was in the net at least. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just man. made it. <laughs> yeah. So I got one trailing hook that snapped off, and the other treble bent. Not as big as the other two, but uh, still a very nice fish. Yesterday, like sat there, and yours did the same. It's like it was just it slowly moved in. Yeah, see now, now it's doing that. Now it's just there. It's not really swimming. He's not really doing much. Oh my gosh, it's another nice one. Thank job. you. Woo! Good. That's our third of the day. Whoops. How come the gals always get the big ones? <laughs> third fish of the day. Uh, we've had a pretty outstanding morning. It's flat calm out here. It's beautiful. Um, another beautiful Chinook uh, that absolutely slammed the herring. So, no complaints here. Now that we got our fish, we're gonna head back and enjoy another beautiful brunch and come back out here in the evening time. It's not a bad job. <laughs> but Rod, you missed something. What are we doing right after brunch? Oh, crabbing. We're going crabbing. <laughs> Getting some crab as well. <laughs> so and then a nap. Probably not knowing no. us. After a pretty good morning fishing session, we decided to take it easy this afternoon, just going out for a relaxing cruise. This beach here is gorgeous. It's an ancient village. It's been here for thousands of years. Look at this one! Sorry, Jill. I'm gonna ask you to just do it again. Do that again. Yeah, I just wasn't focused. Oh <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, so okay. mobile in the suit. <laughs> yeah, it's more the suit. Like you can't. My crotch is at my knees. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Relaxing time on the floating lodge. Because uh, the ladies have to go to the washroom.